Hi, I'm Charles Neal. Today we're going to talk about creating a live edge. What am I talking about? I'm talking about a free-form natural shape. And you know, over the years we've done a lot of them. And, but you know, Mother Nature is not always cooperative with us. And so a lot of times we have to create our own. And uh, that's pretty fun to do. And you, I tell you what, you know, you do a little bench that's got that freeform top or whatever the case. They're really cool. They're really, really cool. They're a lot of fun to do. And I'm going to show you how we do it. You know, no matter what you do, if you leave the bark on something, if you have a freeform shape, uh, the bark's going to come off. It's virtually, and we've tried everything, it's virtually impossible to keep the bark on. But the bark gives it a good look. So we're going to teach you how to bark it. That's going to be our focus. Now, this is a big old slab of cherry. This is actually a project that we're doing. And we've got a straight back on. It's going to be a big, long sofa table. It's 99 inches long. And what we're going to, and it has a nice curve to the front of it, but the ends of it were straight. And we want to give it more of a free form or natural looking shape. So what we did right here on this end is we simply took a jigsaw and we cut a shape into it. And it's just a, you know, just something we looked at and said, gee, that'll do. Let's see, make sure to see the shape we cut? Okay, then we took a jigsaw and laid it on an angle and just took out some little edges to kind of slope this side. Now this front edge up here, that's that's a natural shape. Now we're gonna we want to shape this whole thing and make it look natural. So here's here, here's our tools of choice. First of all, guys, do not forget your safety glasses and don't forget a dust mask. This is a, this is a little grinder and we've got one of the abrasive wheels on it and I think we got this wheel from Woodcraft. Uh, I don't know exactly what you call it, but you can go on their website or in their catalog and you'll find it. And there's probably other guys that carry it as well. Uh, they're a little pricey, but they really, really do a nice job. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here and I'm going to use this to blend and to further sculpt this edge. Alright, all I've done is I just took my grinder and I just blended everything. I left it knotty, nubby. I'm not trying to create a perfect surface here. And the reason being is, is I, I want this thing to look like the natural outside of a tree. Now, you know, this is a pretty mild example. I've actually taken them and, and sawn them up into here and come back down and made it look like a crotch or a limb going off. You can just get as creative as you want, to, you want to, and it's a whole lot of fun. Now, to make what's going to look like the bark, here's what we do. We take a rotary tool, just with a little rounded bit on it, and we simply set it here, and we just go. way to sand this a little bit and it adds a little bit of more texture. You simply take a soft, I emphasize a soft wire brush on a drill. 
and it will sand. Now, we're going to come back and we're going to go back and we're going to find out how to make this actually look like bark. Alright, here's a sample we did. And this the end of it right here is done just with the ground. And the back edge of this, we took the little rotary tool with the bit and we did our little dimple action to abrade it. Now one of the things, don't do this in a pattern. Do it very regular, but try to do it very thorough. And it gives it the appearance that it's not a man-made thing. Now all I did was a straight hand locker and spray this to the ceiling. Because now I'm going to come back and I'm going to use a blaze. And you can use a thick gel stain or whatever. And I'm just going to put it on here in my broad grade. I'm going to put it on pretty heavy. Now the object of the game here is to get the glaze to lay into the crevices. You can put it on as light or as heavy as you want. Now, when I finish over top of this, and I must tell you that a spray finish over this, you can seal this off with a spray shellac or something like that. And the reason for that is that if you wipe it, you're going to try to wipe some of your glaze off. The, uh, you know, you just got to read your directions on whatever it is you're doing with it. Like I said, I can get it as dark or as light as I want. But when I'm done with it, and now I have, a, you know, I would have a sanded finish top or whatever. What I have here looks like bark. It makes a really, really neat edge, and it's a lot of fun to do. Give it a try. I think you'll like it. I'm Charles Neal. Catch you next time.